please open up your file that says 12 enumerations.playground. Now enumeration in many languages kind of a not given so much of focus, but in the Swift enumeration has got a too much of spotlight out there. So what are the enumerations? An enumeration defines a common type of group of related values and enable you to work on those values in a type safe way within your code. And obviously sometime it's really good to restrict our own usage. And taking an example out here, let's say we are building an application for the movie seats. Whenever a movie is out there on the theater nowadays, it's a very common thing that people want to choose their seat at first in the application. They want to know whether where they are going to sit and whether the seat is being available or not. For example, they want to see, I want to sit in the balcony or a club or a royal box or anything might work in that case. So for example, if I want to build a such application, the first step would be uh, just to declare a variable of movie seat. And yes, I can do something like I can put the integer according to seat. Like for example, I have a, in my mind, I will set that the bottom will be a zero, balcony would be one and club would be three and so on and so forth. But this is not at all a good approach. I want to move on onto a very structured approach in order to build this app. So let's just comment it out. And the good way to implement this would be by enumeration. So how do enumeration works in that particular case? Notice on the line number 10, we have got a keyword out here that says enum. And this is how you declare it enumeration. After the enumeration, I make a name for the enumeration, which I'll be using. And notice, whenever we are going to declare a new data type, that means we are going to make a capital out here. Like in this case, the M of the movie is in caps. Now, this is a common practice, but you should not be worried that this is a strong rule. But if anyone is going to read your source code or maybe later on, you might want to see that how you worked on in the past years, this is a good approach to have. And after that, once you have declared the name of the enumeration, you need you can specify a variety of cases in that. Now, this is one place where case is uh, behaving a little bit different. Like in this case, you can see we have got a case which is bottom, that's the bottommost row. But I don't have any com comma separated values or colon or anything like that after case like what we were having in the switch case. In the switch case, we used to have something like this. So this is not the case in this place. Now, I like to have my switch in case on a separate row because it's much more readable, but don't feel uh, being leave alone out there. You can simply have a comma separated values and I can simply say more and all of these. So if I save that, notice the error is gone. So again, depends on you what is most suitable to you. But again, I would say that any every entry on a separate line is much more readable as compared to the comma separated values. But yes, there are some points where comma separated values makes much more sense. And we have an example for that also, just a moment. So this is all preparation what we are having by declaring our own data types. Now after preparation, obviously everyone wants to use that. So let's try to build up a couple of orders by using the enumeration. So in the order number one, we can see that we are declaring a variable that says given seat. And I'm type inferring it to not integer, not string or anything else, I'm inferring it to my own declared data type, which is movie seat row, which is of course an enumeration. And I'm trying to set a value with that. So I'm saying Kevin seat is equals to movie seat row. And as soon as I put a dot here, now it is not obvious that you should put a balcony, but as soon as you will put a dot out here, you will be given all the options being available. And this is the one place where I really like the Xcode because right now these are just, just handful of cases. But later on, uh, things will get really, really messy. And enumerations are kind of a hard to avoid in the Swift. You'll find that a lot of things are being declared as enumerations out there. And the next order, now again, I'm building up a couple of orders just to show you that how you can utilize what are the different syntax so that whenever you see all these things in the documentation of the Swift, you don't really feel scared out there. The second order, we want to build olive, sweet, olive seat. We want to book that. So what we can do again, we have type inferred it to the movie seat row. Now in this case, this might found a little bit strange. And obviously this is, but you'll see that in a lot of frameworks like Cocoa, there is a lot of things which is being declared in this manner. Now Swift says if a variable is being inferred as a, as a 
custom defined uh, object types then it is so obvious then it will have uh, only these kinds of options so you can directly put a dot and after that you can utilize all of these things so again this will also work but the best way to utilize this enumeration is the third one and it is really it saves a lot of time like for example i want to book a seat for kane and it says movie seat row dot club so all the things are being done in just a single row now again depends on your preference now i personally prefer this method in the order number three but a lot of documentation in the swift prefers the method number two again choice is all ours and when we define our own custom data type we can simply have that now once you have utilized that now let's move on to the next phase which is we want to greet the user based on the choice what he has selected again you could have if and else case out here but i like to go with the switch and case method so notice what i'm having here is a switch the cane seat which is being checked and notice again i'm checking for a variety of case like dot bottom dot balcony dot club dot box and any will work so just like that if user selects a bottom it says enjoy a movie in the bottom seat or a great view at balcony or welcome to the movie club or this is something special or anything like that notice a strange thing out there that i don't have a default case and swift is not complaining now swift is such a language where you will find a lot of time that the obvious things are emitted and they are not at all obvious things are really omitted so these are not the best part and one thing that really impressed me is the getting rid of the default case in this case now things are really simple let me explain that it says you have covered up all the cases which could have been possibly out there for the data type movie seat row that means you are good to go you do not need to say anything default out there you have covered all the cases but that case is not true for the integer or maybe a string it can have any value but since we have defined the data type we know what could have been there so that's a good thing and good implementation moving further on our line number 46 we have got one more method and simply it's just a uh, further up cases of the enumeration now what it says that let's say you want to have a, a continuous increasing values in the enumeration what could you have, have you done you can simply say enum planet and after that you can infer it to as an integer make sure that it is there it is super important after that i am checking for the case so case is mercury is equals to one that means i'm assigning a value one to the mercury now this is so obvious out there in the swift that it says okay so you want to go with that structure that says mercury is one obviously venus is two earth is three mars is four and all of that so i'll assign a raw value to everything out there so when we want to use that we can simply say let planner or planet order value is equals to planet dot earth means i'm accessing the enumeration planet in that i'm accessing a case that is earth and it has a raw value three as notice out here so you can see enumerations are really simple and quite a fun to use and believe me when we will be building our apps you will notice that hey enumerations are hard to avoid and they are everywhere there is a lot of syntax out there in the thing that says dot this dot that and it's a good thing and a good gesture to know that yes these are enumeration again in the xcode you can option click on to any data type or variable to know more about it and please try to go ahead with that Okay, quite interesting movie about the enumeration. Let's move ahead.